Hi guys, welcome to Learn Hut K Specials new episode. My name is Rahul Royla and you are watching Maths 101 channel. So today I have something very interesting, a very soothing and a relaxing inequality problem, right? So just lay down, just relax and watch the video and understand the question, think how you can solve it. So let's start. So the question says that mod of a minus b is greater than or equal to mod c, mod of b minus c is greater than or equal to mod a and mod of c minus a is greater than or equal to mod b. Then prove that one of a, b, c is the sum of the other two, right? One of them is the sum of the other two. Now when you look at this question you could you know apply something you know obviously you will be able to find the answer i'm pretty sure you guys are very intelligent and as you guys are progressing as you you know are studying i'm sure you can tackle these kind of problems but one of these days we all want to do a simple problem so here it goes so sabse pehle, i have mod of a minus b which is greater than or equal to mod c now first of all i want to remove this modulus to remove this modulus what I will do is I will square it so I will get a minus b whole square greater than or equal to c square when I square it there is no use of modulus because I know that a minus b whole square is going to be positive as well as c square is also going to be positive right what a modulus basically does is makes everything positive but if I already know that something is going to be positive, I don't really care about the modulus sign. Hence, we can remove it. So once I have this kind of uh, thing, what I will do is I will take c square to that side. So I will have a minus b whole square minus c square greater than or equal to 0. So again, if you remember your identities of uh, 9th and 10th class, you can easily apply them here. Hena? A square minus B square is A minus B into A plus B. So I'll apply that here and I will write this as A minus B minus C and A minus B plus C. This is greater than or equal to 0. The same thing I'm going to do with the rest of the numbers. The second number that I have here is mod of B minus C greater than or equal to mod A. So again, I can write it as b minus c ka whole square greater than or equal to a square. Again, I will write it as b minus c ka whole square greater than or equal to or what I can do is I can take it to the that side. I can take a square to that side and I'll write it as minus a square greater than or equal to 0 and I get my result which is basically b minus c minus a into b minus c plus a greater than or equal to 0. Now if you solve the third relationship, the third relationship which is given here, mod of c minus a is greater than or equal to mod b, square it, do the same thing and you would get something like c minus a minus b into c minus a plus b greater than or equal to 0. Now what I will do here is I will multiply all of them. Okay. I am going to multiply all these three inequalities. Notice there is, there is something quite interesting here. And what is interesting here is uh, what you can see that you have A minus B minus C. Right. And you have A minus B plus C. There is something similar here. Right. There is something similar here. Let's first multiply them and then we will look for something similar, right? Okay. So let me change the color, probably something like a blue and we will get A minus B. Yeah, we will get A minus B minus C into A minus B plus C and that is multiplied with b minus c minus a that is multiplied with b minus c plus a that is multiplied with c minus a minus b and that is multiplied with 
c minus a plus b all of that should be greater than or equal to zero right now now comes the interesting part something you know which makes me quite happy because everything is turning out so nicely right and if you keep working hard everything in your life will also turn out nicely like this right there are no mistakes as such they are just happy little accidents so what we have here is basically uh, look for the a plus so you have a minus b minus c okay and uh, what i will look for is where a is negative and b and c are positive okay this one right a is negative and b and c are positive so what i can do here is i can write this as minus of i can write this as minus of b plus c minus a and what is this beta this is b plus c minus a so if i multiply them both of them if i multiply i should get something like this i should get minus of b plus c minus a whole square so this is the first part let's talk about the second part now for the second part i am looking for let's say here so this is what this is basically a plus c minus b so i'm looking for something in which b is positive and a and c are negatives and i find it here very simple i can write this as minus of a plus c minus b so when i multiply this with this again i will get minus a plus c minus b whole square yeah and obviously now you can quickly look at the last one you can see that everything is aligning beautifully and we are somewhere near the solution right so when you look at this this is what this is basically a plus b minus c and when you look at this one you can take minus common and you can write this as a plus b minus c when you multiply both of them you will get minus of a plus b minus c so this is greater than or equal to 0 yes so finally i have something which i can work around with notice if i multiply this minus with this minus with this minus all of them are multiplied ultimately i will get minus of b plus c minus a square a plus c minus b square and finally i will get a plus b minus c square this is greater than or equal to 0 now comes the most interesting part and uh, you know every part is the most interesting part actually so here what you can do is you can see that by this is going to be a square so this is going to be positive this is also a square this is positive and also this is also positive but there is a negative sign outside so if there is a negative sign outside we have a problem why because if rest of the things are positive always and if there is a negative sign that means this whole thing is going to be negative but what what does it say on the left side okay so the left side basically says everything is going to be negative because there is a negative sign and negative is multiplied to something positive so it will be negative but if you look at the right side it says it has to be greater than or equal to zero right it has to be greater than or equal to zero now i know that the right hand side is saying that it has to be greater than or equal to zero but the left hand side is saying that it is negative right so the only possibility is since it cannot be positive since it cannot be positive the left hand side so the only possibility is ki bhai hamara jo left hand side hai it is equal to zero yeah? so this whole part is equal to zero and if this whole part is equal to zero i think we are at a solution so let's check it out so 
we have b plus c minus a whole square then we have a plus b minus c whole square then we have uh, c plus a minus b whole square since you know it cannot be positive because there is a negative sign and it the inequality says that it has to be greater than or equal to zero since it can't be greater than zero the only thing possible is that this is equal to zero now since this is a square either it can be positive or it can be zero again this can be positive it can be zero positive or zero since the product is equal to zero i can say that individually every term is zero so basically we have b plus c minus a equal to zero so that means b plus c is equal to a enough similarly a plus b minus c is equal to zero a plus b is equal to c i am putting a condition of or or here okay i am putting a condition of or here because one of them if one of them is zero everything will become zero so either this is zero or this is zero or c plus a minus b this is zero and if this is zero we will get c plus a equal to b so either one of them either this has to be zero either this has to be true or this has to be true if any one of them is true we finally achieve our answer which is basically the sum of any two numbers is equal to the third number and with that we come to an end of the solution i hope you like it i hope you feel relaxed i like how when you know i like when the problems turn around and they give you a very simple and a beautiful solution okay so that was my solution of this problem it's a old olympiad problem if you like these kind of works if you like these kind of problems you want to study them more you want to prepare for olympiads you have to take an academy subscription where i launch my courses where i teach regularly and you can use my code to get a discount my code is rohila10 and this code will give you a 10% discount yeah i hope to see you in the next one have a great day